Hi there. Um, tonight I am making stuffed shells with sauce and while I can make them from scratch today I'm kind of tired and I don't know if I ate too much food last night or something. My stomach was a little upset this morning. I'm like oh, okay because I cooked a lot of food last night and I ate this giant serving of panzanella bread salad with the the local cherry tomatoes and it was so good maybe I ate too much and overloaded on the bread or something. I'm not, I don't go gluten free or anything like that. It's just that I think I just eat too much bread. Anyway, <laughs> not going to do that again today. So I got um, these things at Hannaford. I think it was like $3.99 at the most. And they're eight jumbo stuffed shells. And you stick them in a pan and I'm using a disposable oil pan. You can buy these at um, this discount store called Christmas Tree Shop. They're open all year round, so not just at Christmas. They have a lot of home goods, and these I get these foil pans. They're a lot cheaper than the grocery store, and they're just the right size. They're not too big. And I buy this um, tomato basil Hanford brand sauce, and it's really good. I mean, it's really good. I'm. It's 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 mild, but it's got a little bit of a spice to it and some garlic. I don't know. It's I like it a lot. Um, so I use it on my spaghetti and I can I can make sauce from scratch but yeah I don't have the patience usually um, so you just cover this with oil bake for like almost an hour and then you have to let it sit for a little bit because it's gonna be very very hot so but I did get a new light this is a shop light and I have an LED uh, light it's really a pendant light it's for going over like a kitchen counter um, and I just have it pointed at the ceiling to bounce it off there and see if it you know it does give some pretty good light um, I did lighting at University of Maine at Orono but it was in the theater department so I was lighting people not things and um, that's where I met Robert because he was my assistant I was running lights for the uh, the flamenco troupe because there was a big um, well-known flamenco, female flamenco dancer up there, and she brought this troupe over, I guess, and Robert was in the dance department because he was a ballet dancer, and he was my assistant, and that is how we met. He was assigned to, to be my assistant, not the other way around, because I was in charge of running lights at the big theater. <laughs> it also meant, you know, they used me a lot because I wasn't on work study, so they didn't have to pay me, so... It worked out though because I got a lot of experience doing lighting. I did Marat Sad, I did the Mikado, I did every lecture hypnosis guy, the the bands that would come in, lecturers, you know. I did all kinds of lighting there and it was it was cool, it was lots of fun and I got a few splinters in my backside climbing up and sliding across the boards and then reaching to adjust their Fresnels and Lecos and change the gels and uh, we had a theater in the round. He had to climb up on a ladder with an extension ladder in the middle, and then the lights were hung from a round uh, metal pipe that swayed back and forth on chains. And I'd be standing up there, and we all had our wrenches like fastened with a, a string or rope to our our chains, so you wouldn't drop it. Um, if you dropped it, it would just be hanging there. But I hated that that ladder. That the theater in the round was great. It was a wonderful thing and I attended a makeup lecture by a guy that did um, makeup for one of the Godfather movies and I was like super thrilled to hear this guy talk and he was saying how he he did the bullet holes and he would do like uh, oh god latex and he would he would make a slit and then he'd stick the like a fish line and then some fake blood in there and then seal it up and then all these things would run it was just for a bullet hole they would run down this guy's sleeve, and when he got shot, he would have to yank these fish lines. And then all this blood would come spurting out, and it would look like bullet holes with blood. And he said he spent like six hours on this guy, and the guy was coming down the stairs, and some young woman extra in the movie was passing him by and said, Oh, you have a thread hanging! And she pulled on the main fish line that pulled all the other ones, and he... 
it ruined it. So he had to go back and get it all done again. And you know, fake blood stains, man. And I was like, I would have been really upset because when it, we, I didn't use a lot of latex when I worked at the uh, theater in Amesbury because I was a, mostly I did uh, props and, and, and did some stuff on stage, but I ran lights, I pulled curtain, made food for the kitchen because it was a dinner theater. Um, I, I helped out, I helped with costuming and I did a lot of stuff there. Um, and there was one guy who was playing Don Quixote of Mina La Mancha. He was a young guy. So he had, they had to put a lot of latex wrinkles on him and then he had a, he showed us how he was contouring and everything. It was really cool. So ever since then I was always fascinated with latex. <laughs> and I'm not allergic to it, so I could, I could do my face up. But anyway, this is uh, my fast and easy tip. Buy stuffed shells and cover them with sauce and put it in the oven. <laughs> And if you want, I want some garlic bread, some from Frozen. <laughs> anyway, have a good one.